Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for being here. So I just finished Burger 10 season two and I have to say in all truth, I was not originally planning on watching this season because I was, the, I was, I was into it for the Duke and Duchess and I was like, eh, I'm not really interested. And then I was like, well, actually there's other storylines I am interested in finding out. And so I decided to watch it, and I really enjoyed it. Now, once again, I have not read the book, so I'm not coming at it from that perspective. I've heard people who have read the books and, you know, haven't, you know, people who, a lot of people who've read the books didn't like it, the people who, and then some do. So, you know, it's a toss-up. I say, know that it's going to be different and enjoy the ride. And by the way, this is going to contain spoilers. <laughs> um... My thing is, I knew that Eloise was going to find out about Penelope. It made me sad. I felt real. I felt like this whole season was more emotional. Like this, this season got me more emotional. Like there was some real depth to some of the stories. I enjoy. I really enjoyed um, just the the story about Briggerton, the dad, the bee, just. Um, you know, Anthony's reluctance to love. And although I will say I wasn't really here for the Kate and Anthony storyline, they were cute by the end of it. Wasn't really thinking they were going to get together, but I guess I should have expected that. But it was it was cute. I mean, because let's face it, no, I don't think they could have competed with the Duke and Duchess because they were, they were fire. They were intense. Let's, let's be real. <laughs> um... I feel like I should and shouldn't feel bad for Penelope. It's like a toss up. I do feel bad for her though, but like she's hustling. She's hustling. She's doing her thing and I'm kind of loving it. I hate that it affected her and Eloise, but I knew that was going to happen. And I got to say, Penelope's brave to expect Eloise to keep on holding on to the secret, you know, because that's a big secret for somebody who's all of a sudden hating you. And Colin, was that boy talk? Was that a lie? Were you are you playing somebody about saying you would never court uh, Penelope? Because you know he did play her cousin on finding out about his empty minds. So either way, it did make me feel bad for her. <laughs> Colin, I don't, I can't figure Colin out. <laughs> and honestly, I'm just gonna say I think. In a weird way, the MVP here is kind of Fe Mrs. Featherington. Oh, my God. Don't count that woman out. Every time I think she has hit rock bottom, every time I think she does not have another move, this woman pulls it out and she is like, she's zigging when you think she's going to zag. And damn, woman comes to play. Don't try her. <laughs> um... I don't know, the whole Kate and Edwina, I felt bad for them, but like I understood Kate, but I just, I did feel like Edwina was really more naive, but I'm glad she like woke up and they could get over it. It almost took, you know, Kate dying for them to get over it, but hey, things happen. <laughs> and the Perkinsons, their ups and downs, and I don't know, I just... I really enjoyed this season. I don't know if I would say I enjoyed it more than last season. I feel like it's almost equal. And I am curious to see the other stories. I feel like maybe this season was definitely like a bridge to the other stories. But I did enjoy it. I did. So, I don't know. To each their own. Watch accordingly. Make up your own mind on whether you like it. I, I think the writing was really awesome. The cast was stellar, and it was just a thoroughly enjoyable season. Except for the back and forth with Anthony and Kate. That was a little frustrating at times, but I think it was meant to be that way. I wasn't sure if they were, like, trying to mirror certain aspects of the Duke and Duchess. I kind of saw little slivers of that, but, you know, like I said, that was its own fire. I don't think it can really be replicated. <laughs> But yeah, those are my thoughts on season two. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. Until next time.